come on. Don, you got to stand strong. You can't buckle now. I mean, we got to get him right. I'm trying, I'm going to do everything I can to help him. Whatever I got to do to keep him in school, that's what I'm going to do. I am a life coach here at uh, Anderson Community Schools. All the coaching I do is based off of where I've been, what I've been through, what I've overcome. My today is not my future. My mistakes don't define my purpose. it was playing basketball at Anderson High School. All the loud noise, the cheering, I mean, you seen so much red and green, it was just amazing. He's the, he's the shortest, but he's the baddest around. It was electrifying, and it became addictive to me. It became my addiction. They would come over and, and I would sign autographs. I mean, I mean, all the time. 1993, Mr. Basketball, they're gonna see Kojak Fuller. Well, a lot of people just didn't understand. They was like, man, you're so good at basketball and you have a future. And they had no idea, you know, of the baggage that I was carrying around. At the age of 12, man, I experienced uh, being taken advantage of sexually. I saw a lot of change in it, a lot of animosity, uh, mad. Did I say something? Did I do anything that would cause him to to approach me like that? I mean, like, what was it about me? What did I do? I felt like there was something that I need to do in order to change. And sleeping with girls was the best way that I knew how to deal with it, which led to me having my first child at 15. By the time I was a senior in high school, I had three kids with no clue of what a father is. I started to learn how to use basketball as a defense mechanism. And the recruiting process, it started off good because I was getting letters from everywhere. When individuals started getting wind of me having children, uh, they started backing off. I'm like, man, shoot, I just want to go to school. Coach from Vincennes came, talked to me. That was simple. That was easy. Now that I'm in college, uh, it's almost like I'm an adult, you know, still trying to go to school and um, meet the academic requirements as well as the athletic requirements and still be a father. At that time, you know, I'm smoking marijuana now. I want to smoke marijuana and play basketball, so I started doing them both. And people didn't even know, because I knew how to smile, but I was dying on the inside. I'm trying to provide for my family, and so now I want to make money seeing what other people are doing and people are hustling people are gambling and so I'm like man that's what I need to do well, I tried to be a gangster and a hooper you can't do both one won't allow you to be the other Kojak dropped out of college and into trouble the Madison County authorities arrested Fuller Fuller received a 20 year sentence for selling cocaine near the school where he became a local star 
had let so many people down that expected a lot out of him. I was 23 years old and fearful. I just had no clue what was behind those doors. For my first four years, my prison sentence, I couldn't even see two of my kids. Man, I was like, man, I want to change. This is not what I want to do for my babies. And so my first prayer was this, Lord, I don't know you, but I want to know you. I want to know you like nobody else. So I, I learned how to serve God in prison. Me and my wife got married in prison. We got married on July the 3rd, 2002. We were married three years while he was incarcerated. That was one of the things that, uh, that kept me motivated on doing what I need to do to get out. When he got home, I was overwhelmed. I was super excited. I was nervous. When I came home, when I was 30, going on 31, excited, motivated, driven. I thank God that he went to prison because he came back a changed man. He's come a long way, and I am so proud of him. I was a husband when I came home. My kids had a father. Today was challenging when it comes to, you know, to them youngsters. With some of the young people that I deal with that may be in trouble, they can call me one o'clock in the morning. If they need me, I'm coming. Now, Coach Jack, he is the best life coach because he put his power in teaching me things that are right. I'm getting better just a little bit by him helping me. I don't have a degree in life coaching. I didn't go to school for life coaching. Just trying to help young people understand that your mistakes don't define you.